Hi, my name is Thorsten Schmidt and welcome back on the NMS Prime channel. Today I want to speak about pre-equalization. So first of all I want to explain what is pre-equalization. To get an understanding of what is pre-equalization in DOCSIS, um, I just want to explain you a simple network architecture, which for example could look like that we say here we've got our CMTS and of course the CMTS will provide a downstream channel and an upstream channel to our cable modems. And now pre-equalization just works in the upstream. And what pre-equalization does is that if a cable modem sends a signal, um, let's assume that we are in the frequency space, which means we have here the power of our, um, of our signal and here we've got the frequency range and uh, maybe let's assume we are sending at 40 uh, megahertz and we've got a channel wide of 6.4 megahertz so let's say that's our channel where we are sending and in a perfect world um, this would be some kind of um, of rectangle in the frequency space which the cable modem will transmit to the CMTS. And the CMTS of course here is the HFC network inside and inside the HFC network there could be many impacts on the signal like some kind of equalization because of different lengths or there are some elements inside which destroy the signal or something like this. And what will be the result? The cable modem sends a nearly perfect signal, it goes through the HFC network and at the cable or at the CMTS part the uh, um, signal maybe will look like, let's say, make it a simple, maybe will look like this. So this is because of the impairments in the HFC network. and. The thing is that because of the uh, bad uh, impairments inside the HFC network, the first thing is that the cable modem termination system, uh, for, for the cable modem termination system, it is more difficult to interpret uh, the signal, and this uh, leads to a loss in, um, in signal of noise. So, typical, we can miss about 5 to 10 uh, dB uh, inside the signal of noise because it's complicated for the CMTS to decrypt or en uh, uh, decode um, the upstream from the modem. And now the cool thing is what DOCSIS pre-equalization does is that the CMTS tells the cable modem, the just the one cable modem, not all cable modems, just the one cable modem which we are talking about, um, they say I've heard that you are sending this kind of signal so please, if you are sending the next one, um, adapt your equalizers inside uh, your transmitter. And this will lead that the CMTS will tell, okay, next time maybe you need to send some kind like this. And the cool thing is, the next time when the cable modem will transmit a signal, it will not transmit it like this, but it will transmit it, let's say, like this. And then we have the impairments inside our network and the result is that the new signal at the CMTS will look nearly perfect. So that's what DOCSIS pre-equalization does. And the first thing is that it's really a cool feature because if you just enable it, I will print in the command line on the CMTS how you can enable it on normal Cisco CMTSs. If you just enable DOCSIS pre-equalization, the thing is that you just increase your signal to noise uh, ratio about 5 to 10 decibels. There's a lot of theory about it, um, what is represented in the frequency space and the timing space and Fourier transformation and stuff like this, but this is just normal signal theory about uh, how equalizers work and stuff like this. And the thing is, um, what's behind it a little bit, I don't want to dig too deep inside it, is that um, you can transform the signal into, into uh, from frequency space into time space 
and um, in time space you have some kind of uh, let's say you have the normal signal which will walk through and um, then you have uh, different uh, time uh, Uh, and then you have different time elements which will delay the signal and um, they will bring the signal back again so that it will be overlapping and the thing is that we have for example some kind of uh, just let me check yeah some kind of uh, the structure so that we can add multiple delayed signals of our original signal and this is uh, like I explained uh, signal theory and the cable modem for this purpose uh, has 24 tabs inside um, which will uh, represent the, the pre-equalization coefficient and the next cool thing is that you can do which is called proactive network maintenance is it's just a side effect of the pre-equalization that you can use these tabs which represent the pre-equalization um, coefficients and the pre-equalization coefficients, um, because of the correlation between time and frequency space, represents um, how far away the impacts in your HFC network are. So maybe let's say we have maybe the biggest impact at the uh, third um, tab. Uh, we can just assume over speed light correlation inside HFC networks how far away the biggest impact uh, in our HFC network from our cable modem is. So this for example means, let's say these are 50 meters, which will be the biggest impact. And then what you can do is that if you have a topography map of cable modems, um, you can provide some kind of, it's called TDR value, where you see the biggest impact or the distance to the biggest uh, impact at your uh, signal inside your HFC network. And the next cool thing is that you can do is that you can provide, if you have the topography map uh, of your network, you can say, okay, here's the cable modem. And I know this cable modem, for example, has um, the biggest impact uh, is maybe 50 meters around. And then if you have the next cable modem and you say, okay, it's also maybe, or well, let's assume it's 25 meters, um, then you can see, okay, it should be possible that um, the biggest impact inside my network is at exactly this area. And of course, the more information you have inside your network, um, you will see large of cards where um, it is possible to detect where your possible network problems could be. And this is quite cool because you can see problems inside your network before they are making problems for you. And this is called, because it's proactive, this is just called proactive network maintenance. Um, yesterday we've had a master thesis uh, from John, who was writing his master at our company, and he was trying or he was implementing the uh, DOCSIS pre equalization topic inside NMS Prime. So if you don't know yet NMS Prime, NMS Prime is a free provisioning system, uh, it's open source. And since yesterday we've got uh, a master thesis from John, he's from Nigeria and he solved the problem quite perfectly. So we are just reading out the coefficients from the cable modems and then we interpret this stuff like I explained with the biggest impact inside the network and then he solved the problem that we are putting things on a topography map and the code is still ready. It is hosted on GitHub, it, uh, maybe it will be in some of the next releases, there is still some work to do to, uh, to make it uh, possible to use for you guys, but it's still on GitHub and in the next days or in the next weeks and months we will put it in the stable version in the mainline and you can use it. So, okay, that's it for now, thanks for watching, we will see you in the next video if you like the content. Uh, then don't forget to subscribe to our newsletters or give them a like and see you in the next video. Bye!